Hello everybody, welcome to the fourth quarterfinal of CCL Season 47 playoffs. That's how I, I knew that, honestly. Lovell Up and his Pirelles versus Chew Blank and his Necromantic team. In the booth with me is Dimmy G, the champ. Hello. Hello, Jimmy. We've got a fantastic game here. We've got a recent winner in Chew Blanc facing up against a first-time Chalice player, Level Up, uh, who's, I believe, is his first time anyway, and uh, he's already in a quarter-final. Yeah, Look very pretty, nice. Pretty nice pro elf team. We did also see Chew Blanc absolutely decimate a pro elf team in the uh, on the way to uh, this this uh, quarter-final here as well. Yes, the round of 16, he uh, he destroyed a pro elf team. In the round of 64, he destroyed a high elf team. And in the round of 32, he destroyed a dwarf team. So Yeah, he's been destroying teams. <laughs> Literally, just absolutely massacring them. He trimmed about 900 TV off the high elf team in, the, in game mm. one. Interestingly, what he didn't do for this game was to sack players to deny the wizard. Um, yeah. I'm very surprised because even if you just get down the Pirelles to like 11 men, it's still worth it, right? And he's he's got 14 players. He could have he could have sacked the rookie white. There's there's all sorts of things maybe, he could have done to try and maybe this is, this is a, a sign of confidence and a sign of chalice equity versus game equity. Mm. And he's probably thinking he's probably got one eye on Gdanik and thinking he doesn't want to cut. Maybe Jim, maybe. Maybe, maybe. Well, he had a full bank. I, I think, I think he should have cut, and I would have cut. Uh, uh, but it's just my opinion. It's cutting's not... a tough one. Yeah, cutting's a tough one because it's once you cut, you can't uncut. You know. Yes. That's what they tell me. This is a, an interesting uh, deck of defense as well, isn't it? Yeah. They did something similar, wasn't it? When the uh, in the one against, was it Perry Vale? Was it? Yeah, he did. Perry. Yeah, yeah. This is his strategy. Yeah. Leaves them a bit of an out. Yeah, he gives them a gap. It's a then... pretty good idea, really, because it's a bit like trap space, isn't it? It's an interesting, interesting one. Because if they push here, then you've got you've got more stuff ready to go. And if they go the other side, then your stuff that's isolated isn't as isolated. I do quite yeah. like them, actually. Always, oh, it does get him. Oh, of course, he doesn't get. Oh, he re-rolls that. What? Mm. He wants to surf him. Oh mm. man, I uh, ah, I think Level Up's been watching uh, one streamer <laughs> in, in particular. <laughs> well, there's definitely only one that ever surfs, so yep, that must be it. Yeah. <laughs> that was a bit rowdy, not what I would have done, especially that as you're sacrificing. Incredibly rowdy. When especially you get as you're power. sacrificing him, maybe, right? Cause... When you get the power as well. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, it's, was... yeah, it was balls, and just I don't know if this is the time for balls, Jim. No, that's not what I would have done. Yeah, I don't know if this is the time for balls. He's not. He's not surfing him back. I would have been tempted to go and surf him. It's diving tackle, isn't it, there, Jim? Yeah, but who cares? Uh... Uh... I think I would. Uh... Nah, he's, he can just pom anyway, can he? Yeah. On for days, wait. Well, oh, let's see. That's a reroll that makes sense. Yeah, he's got four. Yeah, early damage. damage, and it's a dirty player. That that is one way to counter the pom counter. It's to <laughs> pom the dirty player. It's like <laughs> this is like strategy inception. It's, like, <laughs> <laughs> it's just like the DP, and then the DP protecting the uh, the pommer. Oh, glorious! Yeah. So many levels of connotations. <laughs> Looks like he's just breaking through straight away. Yeah, now there is a weak diagonal here if he wants to go for it. Mm. Yeah, what's he? Oh, he's oh, double wound it! Oh, that's brutal. Oh, God. Oh, ball God. completely exposed. Is the ball exposed? To tackle oh. pump. Is it exposed? <laughs> is palm. it exposed? Oh, my God. Place palm, lads. Oh, oh dear. Man. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. It's super easy. <laughs> Wise words of Space Cadet. No, it gets the pal. Is he dead? AV7. Got a pile. Yes. Got every day of the week, yeah. Does not break even, AV? Even on a Sunday, Jim. <laughs> Did not break AV. 
And it really is a bit of a rubbish scout there because it's too far for the wolf to get to. Uh, absolutely garbage. No a hammer break on AV7 as well yeah. with Mighty Blow twice. Yeah. Unless he used the Mighty Blow already. I guess the, the ghoul's here. The ghoul can reach surely. Oh. Oof. Nice dub skulls. Oof. So he doesn't get the surf. Neither. And now, uh, Chew Blanc has fallen right into Level Up's trap. Hasn't he? Yeah, this is pure space cadet <laughs> refund. <laughs> <laughs> this is like genius blood bowl, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Right. Um, level up is in a fantastic position. Yeah, but this is how this is how you get through from a duck. And you just let him hit the ball, and now suddenly you've got half the field to move into for free. <laughs> this, is, this is one of the best duckers I've ever seen, Jim. Honestly, <laughs> it really is. <laughs> I, I think I think we have just seen world class blood bowl, ladies and gentlemen. His defense is completely destroyed. <laughs> 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 and yep, nerves of steel, of course. Wow, that's incredible, isn't it? Is I mean, it's, it's it's some high tier stuff. Let's be real. I mean, <laughs> we'll all remember where we were that day that Level Up pulled off the Daka against uh, <laughs> uh, Chu Blanc's Necro in the quarterfinal. Yeah. Wow. wow Six foot guy, ten o'clock at night, one of the best blood bowl plays ever. <laughs> <laughs> it really was! <laughs> Absolute space cadeting. Oh, I would have probably put him here, right, to base two of them. Yeah, I don't know why he didn't do that. It's not like you're turning a 2 plus into a 3 plus either, is it? So. No. Puppy dodge and ball blitz. Oh, glorious look no numbers. Yeah, look no numbers uh, is lovely. Diving tackle. That is diving tackle. Diving tackle, yeah. Oh, not here though. This was just... He was, do no, he was dodging this one first. Yeah, but he was yeah. dodging this wall first to try and get him somewhat relevant. And this looks like it's going to be perfect eight turns to all Dakar. I mean, we're, we're seeing true championship levels of Dakar here. Yep, yeah, glorious. Yeah, I think that, I think that's worth it though, don't you, Conan? I would have if I was if I was Chew, I would have sacked um, one seventy worth. I would have sacked one seventy worth if I was if I was uh, Chew, hundred percent. Because I mean, this would be. I mean, I'm. Losers, right? Yeah, I'm incredibly surprised how this one is going so far. To be honest. Yeah, the duck is doing wonders. I was uh, not anticipating. And it literally was just like the best Dakar ever by being completely horrendous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the double one. It's just like <laughs> it's just like how the game could go. Like could just fall onto your lap and then just completely disappear in the space of a turn like it's yeah. insane isn't it yeah this blitz is annoying i would yeah. i wouldn't mind blitzing this blitzer rather than gfi and hit this one but i think he is going to gfi and hit this one because i mean it is a natty though it? it's or not a natty he's a blitzer so yeah and he he's double ones one. it there oh you go. man that's what you get if you gfi to hit people that's what you get <laughs> is that is that what happens? Yeah, see I would have blitzed this one and then I would have had my wolf free to move around as well. I wouldn't have any players left so I wouldn't have been, been able to blitz. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. <laughs> <laughs> Pitch cleared watching it skip turns. I, I would have gone out in the round of 64 personally. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't have even qualified you. <laughs> <laughs> <Wait>. <laughs> Glorious Whoa, I know. What a moment. Uh... At least now we all know that the Dakar is good. This proves it 100%. I mean, that was incredible, wasn't it? That was incredible. <laughs> like, the whole just failing, snaking the dodge, and then the ball just being wide open to be pommed on your AV7 with Mighty Blow. Doesn't even hurt him. <laughs> like... 
<laughs> Hope it like goes to the perfect scatter square where he just can't reach it. I mean, maybe he could have done the ghoul GFYs to pick it up, right? That's the thing. Yeah, I think he could. Yeah. He can't leave the ball on the floor against elves. He just can't. How many dodges have they failed? I mean, like it's critical failures, isn't it? Right. So this is the thing with dodges that like, I always famously moan about Elliot making 53 dodges against me in a rebel game. <laughs> but it, it's when they fail that matters, isn't it? It's not. Yeah. Like there was like, some one in nine dodges that he made. Yeah. And okay, he failed the one in 36, but like it wasn't really unlucky. You, you know, you just try for those because sometimes they work, and when they do, you're pretty happy. Yeah, but I mean, you're always going to be dodging versus Necro anyway, because they're, they're vile, violent race, aren't they? They're just going to kick your head in if you don't dodge. This guy. This guy's got oh, the Norse armor, hasn't he? Oh, man, it's just impossible. <laughs> I bet there was a pfft there. <laughs> I bet there was pfft. Pfft in chat. Oh, my God, look at the DP. Oh, though. that's huge. Oh, yep, yeah, instant apple, I'm sure. Yeah, apple works. That's it, uh, Bally Hell, is it? Yeah, yeah. So, it will come back, so it kind of feels a bit lit. Like, I mean, it's you got to take the victories, haven't you? Because it's a great Kaz, but obviously the apple work. Like, gets him back and stuff, but... And now there's no apple for uh, Mr. Fast Guy, is there? He has to. He has to go in here, doesn't he? Oh, you can't go in... Like, he can get served. Don't you, you have to go in here, right? Yeah, I think he's just gonna rely on. I don't know. I don't know, Where's Jeff. He... Uh, <laughs> I <laughs> thought he was just gonna tag him with a wrestle and then just like. Oh, he's a he's a blitzer. Every time I look at him, and I corrected Dimmy as well. Every time I look at him, I think he's a catcher and he's not. He's a blitzer. <laughs> Because Dimmy called him a that, and I'm like, no, he's a blitzer, and then, oh my god. Yeah, big oh. dummy. Big dummy, Jim, not even hitting anyone. Freebie. I would have hit this catcher. Wouldn't you have hit this catcher? Uh, well, he's going for a 3D, isn't he? Yeah, but you could have hit this catcher with Mighty Blow. Ooh. And more importantly, uh, Level Up still has the wizard as well, doesn't he? He's got the... What's going on here? I don't know. I don't What's, <laughs> what, is, what, what is all this random movements? Like, I guess he doesn't want to get blitzed, is that? Yeah, maybe he's too protected he was getting blitzed. Better. Yeah. Maybe he's trying to make like a formation. Oh, fireball or bait. <laughs> trying to bait the fireball, isn't he? Mm. I mean, what else would he be doing, mad man? Mm. Well, there you go, perfect Daka. Love to see it. Never in doubt. I mean, that was probably the best Daka I've ever seen. It was pretty, it was pretty good, wasn't it? it but was there was no damage. Perfection. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> zero damage. I mean, Apo, yes, but yeah. no wizard used, zero damage. It only cost him a reroll as well, like because he had, he's only got like two rerolls. Oh no, it's, this is the. Yeah, the only app I yeah. used was the greedy as hell surf. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's been a really entertaining game, to be fair. Yeah. I think this has been a fun one. Yeah, it's still got the 12, but yeah, now every now every cast is going to stick. Yeah. And like, to be fair, it's... It, like, I always anticipated that she was going to smash him to pieces, so... Hasn't happened yet, but, I mean, like, what was it? Uh, turn, like, his turn one or two against PC was massive. We saw it earlier as well, didn't we? We saw, like, a massive removal swing turn. Yeah. In the Amazons and that. Right, what the hell is this by Chew? Uh... Yeah, what is... What is this? Because he's not... What he could have done was put the wolf here, pushed there, like, sorry, pushed to here, right? And then pushed to there, and then sidestep to here, 
and then punch yeah. him and then punch him and then blitz through. Like that's like you want to use your blitz to score. So I don't. Oh, he's got grab. He's got grab. So he's going to grab him to there and, and then, then punch, punch him. There. And then he's going to use the wolf to get him to. So there you go. So it's the grab. So he he's got grab. And then if that doesn't work, then maybe it's this blitz to here, and then you still use yeah. So so it will be the grab to there, and if it's a pow, you blitz with him. Which side steps to here, and then he gets the two hits from there. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. I still think maybe it's better to have the grab and the wolf as options, because like if you can if you can get him forward, like because he's edge three, he really wants to blitz the back line himself. Yeah, it? yeah, it's yeah, possible. yeah. Doesn't get him. Does get him. <laughs> Ding. <laughs> Yeah, now he... Wait, what? Uh... Oh my god, Chew. Jesus Christ, man. Mm. That's terrible, isn't it? Gave up pretty quick, yeah. Yeah, I, I don't like that. I do not like that. That, they, that was easy. You just move the guy in. Three dice to push him, and then you can push him two more. I, I hated that. Like, okay, it's unlikely, I guess. You know, you've got to move yeah, full seven ball, and like, the, do a five plus pass. The kick is horrendous. Yeah. yeah, but I still the hate not trying horrendous. for it. I hate not trying for it. Well, he did the, he did the vanity pass at least. And he got a Kaz, so it's ten pearls now. And it I mean, could be, it could realistically be six pearls at the end of this turn, right? Yeah. I mean, it was easy to set up. It was, it was easy, it was easy to make the right moves, wasn't it? It was easy to identify the right moves and make them. So, I think he should have tried. I had a bench still in eleven. You had a what? Oh, Level up had a bench here, yeah, so it's still in eleven. And you see, look, Chu's bench has done nothing for him, right? He's just done yeah. nothing for him. He, he should have sacked there two is, players. Is, I, I can't yeah, believe he didn't. I genuinely can't believe he didn't sack two players. I would have 100% sacked two players. Because uh, the way I look at this match is the only way Lovell up wins is with the wizard. So you take that away, right? Yeah, I mean, there's many coaches that would have cut. Yeah, I, w I would have done. Because like, he hasn't got sackers or anything, has he? He hasn't got... Like he has, I guess he's got the one turn. I guess he could just beat you with the one turn. But you've got a whole match to get rid of him if you're lucky. The strength yeah. four, it's just not... Like, it's not a sacker, is it? Like, he hasn't got any... He hasn't got war dancers oh, that can one. leap in and get the ball off you. He can get in the way if you don't bang him out. But if you chew, you're going to bang him out, aren't you? Um, I mean, he's done all right so far. Like, I wouldn't expect that I could bang anyone out ever. But but if I was Ungern or Chew, I'd think I would. <laughs> blitz and wrestle. Yeah, well, there's no one else to blitz, is there? Like, bludge step or uh, or wrestle. But maybe he wouldn't have done it with the uh, fleshy. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, because it takes your fleshy out of the way, right? I just hit that blitz. Blitz this one, so you've got your two fleshies here and here or whatever, right? I don't like the mm. positional blitz of there because it doesn't really trap it traps one maybe yeah he's tagging uh, I mean it's not I don't know I, so I really blitz. didn't like that yeah I really didn't like that blitz he was probably just seeing if there was one still standing on the near west and he was going to blitz that but... but look it opens you up doesn't it it opens you up and here we go he's a bit open yeah he's a bit open a bit it's open just... it's a gaping hole is it? yes Look at those triple sixes. You'd mm. love to see it. Mm. Just styling. Styling and profiling. And this is yeah, one of the ways you lose, right? A misfield. Yeah, a misfield, the wizard, and then wizard is pressure. absolutely terrifying right now. 
And and look at this. Look how bad this fleshy is. This could have been two fleshies there. And okay, he powered one of them anyway. But do you know what I mean? He was still being in the way, right? It just it, this was just it was just wrong. I'm gonna go and say that backwards was wrong. Instant pow. <laughs> He can only lose it himself, really, and yeah, he's done it now. That was a bad blitz. How are we getting out of this mess? The tackle zombie, to be fair, that I would have sacked. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. Yep. No armor break on the AV7 again! <laughs> again! Game! <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Now, if he's, oh. now he just needs to use his second blitz. To get the uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> to get a cage. Uh, I like this guy Corn Knight blew my mind with uh, <laughs> second blitzes. Yeah, yeah, exactly. He needs a Corn Knight blitz now, and he's all good. He just needs to pull a Corn Knight, and then. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Oof. Yeah, dodge everyone through. That works. To be fair. It's a bit risky. It is, but that's your option, isn't it? Right? Like you don't have any choice. Biscuit. Oh. Risk it for a biscuit, it doesn't make that dodge there. He's got just right. not enough, hasn't he? Yeah. You could yeah. fireball these three. Like yeah. bolts and fish. Oh! I wouldn't have hated it. This oh. is interesting. Because I wouldn't oh. have hated the fireball, right? Because... Uh, yeah, but the, I mean, like, you're only going to get one or three down 50% of the time, right? Oh, it's like two or three. Oh, it's wow. hard, isn't it? Like. Which one, like, if you just knock down the white and no, not the other two, then it's... Yeah, it's white. shit. It's shit if you only get yeah. the white. It's shit if you only get the white. That's that's why it's a bad fire. If you get the ghoul, it's okay. But if you get this but... ghoul, it's great, because you, you get two down yeah. the ball if you get this ghoul. And if you get... Because yeah, if, you... if you get this ghoul, then you've got this as well. You can just punch this white, can't you? You can just punch yeah, this white. Yeah. So if you get this ghoul, you get 2D on the ball for sure. And if you get... Obviously, if you get this ghoul... So you're 75% to get one of the ghouls instead of 83%. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, well, there's two, isn't there? So you're 75% to get one of those oh. two. Um, and you're 875 to get one of the three. So getting one of the three is better than just getting the bolt. But getting this guy doesn't change anything because you can just hit nail him with a wrestle anyway. So that's why it's not a good wizard, really, is, is the, yeah. this guy's... I like the mighty bow on the goal with no regen as well, to be fair. Well, yeah, that's the thing. Like, it's 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 quite a valuable fireball, isn't it? Like, you know, the, the, the thing that puts it over the edge is these are all good players, like, especially the two ghouls. He's right. just going to go for the 4 plus in. Oh no, he's just going to hit the wolf. Pretty disappointing wizard for him, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Well, yeah, it, couldn't be, it can't be more disappointing, can it? It does absolutely nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was a bit disappointing, yeah, we like. <laughs> it does literally this, nothing. This is like rowdy. Yeah, there's no there's no guard at all on the on the elf team either. It's mad. And it's like he's just ran around the back of him and left the front open. It's just mm. like, what the hell is this? Oh yeah, putting two people here and then chain the chain the ghoul out of the way. He wants to foul the wall. Hmm. Uh, well, that was a good. That was a good idea because yeah. it worked. Yeah. I'm baffled, but yeah. I mean, it was good, like, wasn't it? It did work. Is it? it worked. Well, it is worked. It? Like, but there's just like the whole freaking pitch. <laughs> like, it just. Yeah. Like. Oh, he hands off. Well, yeah. He's, he's on tackle, know. isn't he? Tackle, he's yeah. only on tackle, but yeah, it's a better fail state, isn't it? Failing the hand off. I mean, if he fails the hand off, he just loses, right? Well, not necessarily. But yeah. I guess he could have just dodged because if you think that failing the handoff loses you the game, which to be fair it probably does, you're probably better off just doing the dodge anyway, aren't you? Yeah. I was looking at the dodge, but, but I don't know. Because then you would have another ghoul up there, wouldn't you? Like, yeah. this would be one square further back, but you would have an extra ghoul in front. But that's the whole failure state thing, isn't it, again? Like, yeah. The failure state and the success state. And I just, yeah, I just didn't like the. I mean, because the failure state of the handoff is the same as the dodge, right? Isn't it? Well, Probably, I guess the dodge, yeah. the dodge is later, though, isn't it? Oh, you, but you don't have to dodge the goal, yeah. Of course it is. The first goal, you don't have to dodge. You just walk no. through. Don't you? 
Yeah, but it's just it just is what it is. Like, yes, the the failure state is definitely better if you fail the handoff, but. As you say, well, you it, it, it wouldn't have cost him a reroll either, would it? Like if he'd done the dodge and failed that. Yeah, it would because he's on tackle. Handle. He's on tackle, so it's still a three oh, yeah. plus. Yeah. But but the thing is, like this way, he's getting his tackle. He's getting his full hit instantly, which isn't yeah, great, yeah. is it? So like the success state is nowhere near as good here. The failure state is marginally better, but as you say, you probably just lose anyway. If you fail, if you fail the handoff, you probably just yeah, lose. Yeah, yeah. So, so maybe it's just in for a penny, in for a pound, and make make the dodge, make the big boy dodge. I wonder what KFI would have done. <laughs> I, I think you would have dodged probably. I, th I think I think I like that to be honest. Thinking more about it, I think I think I like just dodging. Because it's important to have that extra go up now, isn't it? Like. Yeah. I really want that extra goal now. Why is he? Oh, I guess. Yeah. I... I don't he's know if I tank... away. He's one away from scoring. Maybe he should have got in the scoring range last turn. Maybe he should have done the yeah. GFI to get in the scoring range. But then you know you just lose, right? If you score early, you just lose anyway. So that's yeah. the horrible thing. So you'd like this the whole play. It's doomed to failure anyway because you split your own team. Yeah, but I mean, he was under mad pressure, right? So. Oh yeah. It's like this has gone completely differently from the last pro off game that he played, but that's because there's still pros on the pitch, right? <laughs> yeah. So that last time it was just. Oh, he's. How many rerolls is he on? He's on like. Don't know what this last reroll. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. Two into one, but can't score. Can't go anywhere. Good. <laughs> oh, oh, he's going to try the eye, the guard eye cage, of course. So there's no guard at all in the. Maybe well, he should have used that more. Right? He could have just done it like in yeah. the middle. Yeah, he yeah. could have just done it here, yeah. Yeah. I guess this goes back to the fact that he's got Fend and it's like harder for them to recover the ball on the sideline than it is in the middle, but either way it's... I would have wanted him to come back there though, because at the end of the day you want... Uh, I guess maybe there's a chain if you go there, there's a chain. Yeah. That's the thing, is the chain from this wolf. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. Chain, know, That's it? why you can't go there, because of the chain. Wait, are you GFI with no re-roll? Oh. Two into a one. Could have definitely moved this guy over here first. Oh no, he's pushing him into range. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's he got is. Fend here as well. <laughs> yeah. If he takes this block, he's off diving tackle as well. And of course, he's going to take the block. It's... Yeah, gets him. Oh. Is it... He's not. One, two. Three. Move up, gets there. Uh, yeah, this wrestler should have moved here first, right? So that you would have had the assist on. So, oh wow, look at this. The nerves of steel. Oh my god, what? It rolls a one. That's how we roll, aren't it? Oh. Wow, Ooh, this could game. Have, could have stood on the sideline, couldn't he? Uh, this one, two, game. Three, uh... four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Should have stood on the sideline. Oof. I mean, yes, but. Oh wow, last reroll. Oh man. Oh man. I mean, you can hit him, right? You can hit him, so he definitely should have yeah, stood on his own. Yeah, he's got to do double G-Fire with no reroll. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't oh. get power. Man, what a game! I guess the thing is, if you're on the, if you go on the sideline, then he can do this, and he can still stick you on the sideline, but it's still better than getting punched, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, boy, <laughs> got the reroll burn and everything, mate. Mm. And it's, it's like, like it's one of them things that is, it goes against everything you kind of learn in Blood Bowl, isn't it, to go on the sideline because exactly, you know yeah. it's going on. So it's, it's not one of the obvious things that. Yeah, well, it's funny, right? Because when you start off the obvious thing as the sideline, then you get yeah, surfed yeah. all the time. Then you go one square in, so you can't get surfed. Then you go three yeah. squares in, so you can't get surfed, and the ball can't scatter out. Right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so yeah, and, yeah. and then yeah, but sometimes you have to go on the sideline to be safe. Yeah. 
And it, yeah, but it's it's inherently against everything that you learn, isn't it? Yes. Oh wow, rerolls there. That's a rowdy ass reroll. Yeah, especially as you're still on tackle. Oh. <laughs> Speaking of which, <laughs> KO'd. Oh, hello, mm, sandwich. Wow. Well, this is a chance now for Chew, but no rerolls. It's uh, at least teams yeah, everywhere. No, like, this no is rerolls. The goal is there, but it's two tackle zones yeah. at the moment, obviously. No way of supporting a block from the tackle guy. No, this this is horrendous for the Necro. Everything spread out like this. Like, There's no way for good things to happen, almost. Oh, goes for the stepper. Oof. Here comes the blood stepper. He could have just gone for the non-bodge stepper, couldn't he? Oh and then wow, just... Hellboy could do that, couldn't he? Here comes the blood stepper. <laughs> that would be really good. Really nice. Is this... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, so... This is all a bit the wrong way around. Oh, yeah. it's... It's just weird, oh. isn't it? It's, it's... Yeah, this is just yeah, it was the wrong way around. Because he could have pushed the other guy off and then just picked up and dodged out. Oh, now he's hitting a side step up. What is going on? Why is it like, oh, I'm going to blitz the side step next to the ball. Oh, he's going to pick it up and fuck off. And he... no. Oh, no. No reroll. Whoa, oh, he does reroll. God. Wow. He, he wants out of this game, isn't it? He's sweating, yeah. you know, he's sweating. He's just, uh. No balls. And now it's really scary, because neither has got any rerolls. Yep, gets the pal. This is like my favourite type of blood bowl. <laughs> oh, he kills oh, him! Oh, he's dead! No, Hapo! Oh my god! Oh, he's not dead, Jim. He's he's actually alive and well. <laughs> he's a little bit slower than he used to be, <laughs> but oh he's better at taking a punch. <laughs> God. Oh, it's brutal, isn't it? That is horrendous, yeah. And <laughs> the other guy oh, gets cast man. as well. Oh, man. Miss next. <laughs> oh, <M -N> <laughs> Oh, my God. Eric victory incoming. Yeah. Well, maybe it's not even a victory now, right? The the wolf and the ghoul can get in range, potentially. Or oh, they're both in mean, tackle. Cool. Yeah, they're both already in range, aren't they? Yeah, they're both already in range, yeah. That's a good point. And now the wolf has freed himself from diving tackle. By killing another guy? <laughs> so we finally have the chew bang out. It's just come It's just come on turn 15. Imagine if this had been his, like, turn 8, uh, turn oh 6 or something. Oh, God. If this had been turn 5 instead of being turn 15, this would have been more what we'd have expected. What an absolutely horrendous way to... <laughs> Flip me. Is that ghoul cool still in range? The ghoul's still in range. Oh, no rerolls. 12, 11, 10. No, the ghoul is not in range. This is only the wolf and in range. And diving tackle and side so... Mm. I think he might have got away with this. Yep. I mean, kind of. <laughs> on, only kind of got away with it. He's, he's been smashed a bit, hasn't he? Yeah. <laughs> In one turn, he's gone from like, yeah, I can win Chalice, to like, oh my god, I'm going out next round. Yeah. How brutal, yeah. Oh, he blitzes the side step. Yeah. I don't get it, this guy, oh, because he's strength 4. Yeah. It's still better to blitz him, isn't it? Because it's 2D and you're going the right way. I don't know. But he's side stuff as well. Oh. Doesn't matter, it's over. Um, wow, unbelievable. What a, what a brutal... Massive win. A massive win for the yeah. pros. And massive loss at the same time. Six cast sustained. And it just all came late, didn't it? It was unbelievable. Like it he was looking so good for so long and then just all of the cars came at the end. An avalanche of cars at the end, holy moly. How much T V is he for his next game? Oh, he's gonna be a lot less, I'll tell you that. Oh my That's god. Unbelievable. So there you go. Congrats.
Kind of, thank you, Daedal, for the raid. Congrats, kind of, to Level Up and commiserations to Chew. Thank you very much, Dimmy. Absolutely glorious as always. Oh, amazing, Jim. Amazing. What an end to that game, yeah. Yeah. And thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.